Hi everyone, I'm Lee Brown, and I'm a product marketing manager for Lens Studio. In this session, we'll be covering the latest technologies and AR capabilities available in Lens Studio. This year marks the fifth anniversary of Lens Studio, the development platform behind lenses that have been viewed more than five trillion times. Today, Lens Studio is used by over 300,000 creators to develop more than 3 million AR lenses that have changed the way people learn, play, shop, and express themselves in the world today. With various distribution options, you can build an AR experience that can be published on Snapchat, Spectacles, and other platforms and applications. The Snap AR ecosystem and economy for developer success thrives from the demand generated by brands and advertisers for creator services, as well as the creator monetization potential through building an audience on Snapchat. Over the past year, we've released new features that are powering the most innovative lenses on Snapchat and within Snap AR developers apps today. Let's take a look at these features as well as exciting improvements to our tracking, rendering, and scene interaction capabilities. The Snap AR ecosystem is built around the mission to integrate and overlay computing on the real world in a way that feels natural and useful. Lenses with more advanced technologies require more data and often larger assets. And we believe that creation shouldn't be limited or suffer from lower quality due to restricting size limits. That's why we've launched the Lens Cloud Remote Assets feature, which allows developers to store up to 25 megabytes of content or 10 megabytes per asset in the cloud and remotely fetch and load assets into the lens at runtime. With remote assets, you can include more content and larger assets in a lens, allowing you to create more complex and interactive experiences with the ability to host assets in the cloud. And soon, you can swap in new assets at any time, allowing you to refresh a lens and saving you development time. You can keep your AR experiences fresh and new throughout the year and bring people back to your existing content. The launch of remote assets unlocks more freedom and powers more interactive, high-quality lenses. We are so excited to see what you create with these new capabilities and their breakthrough functionality. Stay tuned as we continue to roll out high-impact features to the Lens Studio community. And now I'd like to hand it over to Charmaine to talk more about improvements we've made in Lens Studio over the past year. Hi, I'm Charmaine, and I'm a product manager for Lens Studio. Beyond developing brand new features that consistently stretch the limits of what you can do with Lens Studio, we also spend a lot of time listening to our community and your feedback. At the end of the day, Lens Studio is yours as much as it is ours. So here are some big improvements we've rolled out to existing features over the past few months. Since we've released the Lens Studio Physics Engine, we've seen incredible ways that you have used physics to bring your ideas to life. And we have new updates to help you create true-to-life experiences that interact with the world you're building. First, we're introducing collision meshes. Instead of having to rebuild an entire object with primitive shapes in order to simulate collision, collision meshes take on the exact same shape as your object, guaranteeing accuracy. They are fully dynamic and work on everything from skinned meshes to bodies to faces. With this added precision, from the corner of this elephant's big ears to the tip of its little trunk, its entire body can all be detected during a collision. And to enable virtual objects to collide against the real-world environment, we've also included support for a collision against your real-world collision mesh. Next, collision doesn't always look the same. If I walk into a brick wall, the effect would be different from me dipping my hands into a glass of water. One won't go through, and one will. Collision filtering allows you to define exactly that. It lets you control which colliders interact with one another, how they interact, and sometimes, if they even interact at all. Every object has some mass and moment of inertia, which changes depending on the overall shape of the object and its density. We've added some general fixes so that more complex objects can have correct handling of their center of mass and inertia. Lastly, ray casting allows you to project a ray into the scene to determine what's in its way. This is helpful, for example, when you're trying to determine if an object can traverse a path without running into another object. We've extended support for sweeping a primitive shape, such as a sphere, along a transformed path like what you see here. To finish this off, 
our awesome SNAP Lens Network members, Naomi Rosman, Kevin Kumar, and Maha El Dozeri helped us create physics templates so that you can get up and running with all these features as quickly as possible. As you may have seen, the shaken crying lenses have taken the social media world by storm, on and off Snapchat. These lenses quickly became fan favorites, so we turned them into custom components. Now, you can use them as turnkey solutions within your own lens projects. This means they just work with no additional project changes needed. And we're releasing new ones every month, including Smile, Tongue Twister, and ML Relighting. To save you development time, we added the ability to create and manage your own custom components directly in Lens Studio. Custom components offer you out-of-the-box solutions that can be integrated directly into your lenses. And they're designed to be modular components that you can open up in order to customize them to make your own. You can reuse your favorite components across your projects, whether they're created from scratch or forked off of existing ones we have in our asset library. Over the last year, improvements to location-based AR have enabled different innovative use cases around the world. Here, Hart Woolery built this lens called Racetrack Madness that uses Mesh Builder, World Tracking, World Mesh, and the physics engine we just talked about. What he loved about creating this lens was that it gave players complete freedom and resources to design a mini racetrack to their liking. It took a fair amount of work and math to get the tracks to curve naturally, but ultimately this lens shows another way that creators can build interactive lenses for the community to enjoy. More recently, we introduced the ability for you to export your 3D custom location meshes as OBJ files, so you can make precise edits to your scan meshes. And we've released Santa Monica and Los Angeles maps for city scale AR in Lens Studio, which are detailed, fully mapped 3D templates that creators can build large scale location AR experiences on. As more and more of you are developing Spectacles experiences, you'll need to rely more on hand interactions, and we want to make that as easy as possible. So we released two hands tracking to expand the set of available interactions and gesture possibilities you can build with both hands. This new functionality lets creators like Max Van Leeuwen and Lacey Minonen build out their awesome 3D modeling tool, Polygon Studio. This tool allows creators to build 3D models on the spectacles using only their hands. In the next year, we will be making cross-platform distribution within our ecosystem even easier. So you can use the same Lens Studio to build AR experiences, whether you're distributing it on Snapchat, Camera Kit, or Spectacles. We'll continue to invest heavily in our AR platform with new releases coming out every six weeks. As we continue to build out Lens Studio in 2023, we encourage you to share more about how you're using Lens Studio, including what's working for you and what's not. Join our community and let us hear from you through our Snap AR form. By providing feedback, we can be sure our teams are prioritizing the most impactful updates and innovative features on the Lens Studio roadmap. If you haven't downloaded Lens Studio yet or don't have the latest update, you can download it at ar.snap.com. And if you have any feedback or questions, make sure to leave them on our forum, community.snap.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter to stay up to date on the latest with Snap AR. That's all. We hope you have an incredible day and thank you for building the future of AR with us.